back. A difficult night here at the Abbey, ending in a 2-1 defeat. What did you make of the game? Yeah, it's a poor result. Um, and and we got we look, we have to be better. We lost. We've lost too many games. You can't hide away from it. it when you lose a game like that, and the game looks like that in the second half, um, you just have to accept that it's on top of previous results as well. So I thought we started really well. We have to get in front in the game. We have the chances to do it. And if you don't win the game when the game's there to be won, it can become a little bit. Um, it can unravel a little bit. And it did too much in the second half. We lacked idea, a little bit, of, a little bit of physical commitment. You know, the, the lead up to the second goal is just poor from us. It's too easy for them to get in. We're not aggressive enough. We don't win enough duels. Um, and then we run out of idea, really, and become a bit too slow and square. So that's, that's my responsibility. I've not done a good enough job to get us winning enough games. So I'm, I'm gutted for people because they're desperate for us to do well. Um, and I haven't delivered with that. So we've got a lot of work to do um, because we need, we need to get results. And you know, other results do matter in the league. You look at everyone's tonight. They've, they've not gone well for them. Um, and it was the perfect night for us. It was the night that we needed to get a result. And we haven't got one. So... Um, we have to get ready for the next one now. Yeah, in a way, the second half was surprising because after a pretty good first half where I imagine you were fairly happy with how the team played, for them to score that wonder goal out of nowhere and then equalise straight after, you would hope that that was the time then to kick on and to really sort of show our teeth. Yeah, I, I think you know the game's going to be a bit cagey and a bit edgy and um, both teams a little bit low on confidence. You can see that and that impacts the creativity of the team for sure. Obviously, didn't have lots of attacking options on the bench to go with to try and change the game up, which was tough. Um, so you just try and make sure you're in it and you, and you give yourself the best chance of creating something like off a set play or, or a few bits in open play. I thought the first half we did that really well. And in the second half, we didn't have the tempo, intensity, um, work ethic at times to, to give us the drive that we needed to really make the game about us. Uh, and it was too flat a game, really. I mean, he's hit it incredibly well for the first one. Um, but we're just too passive, really, in those parts of the game. So that, they, they get on top. We get the penalty, we get back in the game, and then we have a little bit of a burst for a few minutes, but we never really sustained that um, or had enough about us to keep it going. And um, once the second goal goes in, we needed more about us to chase it, but you could see it um, yeah, it, it went, to, uh, went to pot a little bit at that point. Yeah, and in a way, the fact that all the other teams around us lost is probably the only silver lining, apart from, obviously, Cheltenham have now moved themselves away. Yeah, exactly. It's no real silver line. I mean, it's the night where we should have took results and then we'd say great night, but we haven't. So in the end, of course, the others not picking up points helps us in the bigger picture. But um, if we don't start winning games ourselves or doing better, it doesn't matter anyway. So we've got a lot of games left. We've got a lot of big ones coming up um, and we need something to change because um, yeah, we're not in the place we need to be. And a few encouraging performances that we've had haven't been backed up recently. So we've got to find something. Players have got to dig in and dig deep and find a better level than they found there. Um, and I've got to do a better job too.